what other reasons do you feel like limit us from wanting to go out at night or for you not so there's like different reasons safety comfort levels all that stuff but yeah like people assume in your 20s you're just what are you trying to go to sleep early for we're young live your life but what do you think is one of the things that holds us back from going out past 9 p.m in my 20s no i don't think anything holds us back i think it's just decisions not wanting to not holds us back but you not wanting to the yeah. thought does not being appealing depending on what the circumstance is like i don't want to get to a function and it's past a certain time yeah and it's just time management and for us i feel like i have there's so many things that i want to do and that starts at leads into a great morning whether i'm feeling tired or energetic so if we start going to the gym at five in the morning again then no we can't be out anytime past nine because we have to go to bed and wake up and do the cycle mm-hmm. over again and i know that can be like okay but now it's the weekend it's a friday night it's right. a saturday night but as we talked about or as i like to mention that being an employee the weekends never truly to me personally never feel like an actual break or freedom because okay i worked monday through friday and friday night we go out and then we wake up late saturday okay now it's so for we can even use today for example waking up at 11 a.m and starting eating breakfast brunch at noon now we have hours or Mm -hmm. five hours of date solid daylight and we try to figure out something to do on Saturday. We record a podcast on Saturday. And when we're whenever we're done, it's like late afternoon-ish evening type thing. Now it's like closer to dinner time or we can probably try to figure out. Some, but say we went out again. No, we can stay up late Saturday, but then I don't want to wake up Sunday late because we didn't even include probably like some chores. If you want to do some cleaning yeah. or run some errands, like we don't have time to grocery shop throughout the middle of the week. Sometimes unless it's an emergency, but then either Saturday or Sunday is the chore cleaning day, grocery shopping thing. And we're too busy focused on Sunday that oh, I got a whole nother five days of work. So that's like with me of I want to, even though I know it's the week, you can stay up. I want to stay up at least doing something productive or. I was going to say we still stay up. But so you're coming at it from the viewpoint of we get up early and during the week we get up at like five ish, five a.m. More so on the weekends because people say, OK, on the weekends, what about then? Like we don't get up at five a.m. on mm-hmm. the weekends, yeah. like usually. And for the past few weekends, you and I stay up late just doing whatever, like getting into our own stuff like me with my art and netflix and whatever it's interesting that you come at it from that lens which is also important yes if we prioritize the daytime and i have to get up early why am i gonna go to a function at nine ten o'clock in the night you can't help but think okay how long am i gonna be here if i'm just here even just two hours that means i'm not leaving your house until like midnight maybe if i stay for at least two hours so then i'm not getting home till whatever But for me, I'm coming at it because mentioning that we do still stay up late, even when we're home. That's not necessarily the issue is staying up late. For me, I'm coming at it from a couple of different points Two, two specifically. One is I'm trying to think which one I want to go at first. One is prioritizing full in time. Right. So in general, not always, but in general, Our most valuable time really is not spent night. Unless you really are just that type of person that you're just, that's your schedule. You're up late and that's when you get the most out of your time. That's your lifestyle, right? For the most part, the lives that we live and the people around us, for the most part, because the people around us get up at eight, nine o'clock in the morning for work. (laughs) So if you have to be up that early, you're up during the day. That's your peak hours, right? Mm -hmm. So if we value people and time, what value are you really getting out of regularly trying to spend time with people late in the night because i'm not at my peak like mentally and energy wise and i think a part of it is like sometimes we as people in our society like we just we're just trying to like numb ourselves life and the responsibilities of the day and work and errands and all the stuff so a lot of times people are getting together at night and it's really just to be in each other's space 
but we're just drinking and getting high. And it's just numbing myself to what's really to life for a moment. But are we really getting together to like actually spend time together, to actually have conversation? I'm not assuming that. I'm not saying that's everyone's goal, <laughs> like to when they get together. But that's typically how in my short lived season of hanging out at night and going out and partying and stuff that's really all we're doing it's not actually genuine time spent together yeah for me if we're gonna get together bond have a date night with our friends or have a game night whatever that may be have dinner together the earlier we're together as much as we can six seven o'clock we're having we're maximizing our time together i'm more awake i'm more alert i can have conversations with you i are i think of how like most of our in serious conversations are not had past 10 o'clock at night or 11 o'clock at night because your level of being able to think rationally is down naturally if that's around the time that you usually go to sleep it's just normal and for you to not acknowledge that is not acknowledging your natural human norm norm so we talked about it where if i get somewhere at 10 p.m impossible for me to really be in that moment i'm honestly thinking about when am I leaving? Because even though we're not going to wake up 5 a.m. on a weekend, I don't want to wake up in the afternoon on the weekend because I feel like I still want my morning. It may not be at five and I'm not going to give make a set time of seven or eight. But again, I just don't want to wake up at 1 p.m. on a Saturday because I feel like is now on my Saturday. I can't just help but think, dang, I only have this much to do on this one day or one of the two days that I'm not at work. So yeah, I feel like you can, it's hard. I'm not saying it's not possible and everyone can live how they want to live, but it's hard for me personally to enjoy myself at night, not, yeah. and not just enjoy myself. Cause again, we are home and we're not going to sleep early, whether I'm playing video games with my homies or you're drawing. That's it's like, you. I like what you said about energy and not being like your best cogn cognizant self. Mm -hmm. I think us playing video games or chilling at night is where we can literally physically handle that, like that capacity. Yeah. So that's why we may not be sleeping, but that doesn't mean we're running around at home exerting energy. We're doing is very low maintenance and low effort at night. Yeah. And low key, like, side point on that same point i will keep feel like it's putting it on the back burner back to like relationships and prioritizing people that we care about i low key feel like dang what were we doing all what you doing all day that you gotta be with me at night you know what i mean like we can't do a 3 p.m like <laughs> why am i the last thing on your list <laughs> to get together yeah and then of course the second thing is like safety and again like i'm not opposed to being out later even depending on the circumstances, staying at family's house that day, night. Sure. Yeah, and then we go out maybe in the evening and we get home later, mm -hmm. home past a certain time or whatever, but we were out earlier. Mm -hmm. It's just the time extended or whatever. So I'm not opposed to doing things. Last night we were just out and it was a wonderful time. But when you're regularly, like my red flags just go up. Like my, my alert just, eh, what are we really doing? So getting together so late i just think there's more opportunity for things to go wrong there's more opportunity for things to for people to act up 